Hey guys, this is Newman, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a third person character <clears throat> and ultimately kill an object. Alright, so we start off and we have this little scene here. We have our player character and this other random cube which we'll be using later. So, right now our player character has nothing on him. So if we hit play here, he's just going to float there. So what we want to do is we want to give him some physics. We want to give him some movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this movement script, which I got off the Unity website, and we're going to drag it on into him. All right, And so now he should work, right? Wrong. Now what we need is a uh, character controller. And what this <coughs> and what this character controller is going to do is it's going to give him some properties. Now he's capable of movement. The height controls the height of the bounds. The radius controls the radius of it. The slope limit means that if the slope is a higher degree than this number, then you're not going to be able to walk up it. Step offset means that uh, you're not going to be able to step up steps that are bigger than this number. And skin width means that that's how much of your character can go into another object. So now what we're going to do first we're going to increase our speed a little bit here and our jump gravity make it a little more tolerable and also just for the heck of it we're going to change his uh, material um, let's make him a little flame ball flame cube okay so now we have a little flying flame cube. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to make a third person. So we're going to take our camera and we're going to throw a smooth follow script, which you can get from the standard assets package when you start a new project you just check all of the uh, boxes or you don't check all of them but check the ones that you want and the scripts one will have the script in it so I'm gonna put that in our camera and so if we hit play now nothing happens because what we need to do is we need to tell the camera what to follow so what we do is we drag our player into this transform slot right here. So now when we hit play. Here we have a little first person, or a third person rather. And we can control the distance and the height, which is pretty nice. All right, so now we have a moving third person character. Next we're going to give him a gun. Here's a gun that I modeled in Blender 3D and uh, transferred it over. It's actually not difficult at all to transfer things over from Blender. You just save it and then you just go up here to assets, import new asset, and then you just click on the Blender file. Blender files just go directly in. And so I'm going to put it on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it a child of the player. So the player is now the parent to the gun. So we can move the gun around freely. But if we move the player, the gun moves as well. So 
So next what we're going to do is, is remove the box collider and then we're going to give the gun a script now. We're going to use this, I called it my shoot. It's a script that I've written here. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put all the scripts below the YouTube video so you guys can just copy them from there if you want. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this my shoot and I'm going to put it into the gun here. And so now what that's done is it's given me a transform that I can put a object into here which will act as the bullet or the projectile and a shooting force. So the bullet that I'm going to use is this little bullet like object that I've made here and what I'll do is I'll just drag that bullet right on in and in the script it says if input dot get button down fire so what this is referring to is if I push the button that fire represents then this will happen so if you don't know about the I guess the, the key inputs I'll show you how to do that real quick all you have to do is go to your project settings input and then it'll show up over here and here you can see fire is used by left control and so now if I play move around and when I hit left control oh there's a little looks like my gun's taking a little poop so we need some more force um, so I'm just gonna give it a ton more force we'll give it a few thousand here and let's see what happens boom and that other cube had a rigid body attached to it and so it knocked it right off alright so now we've made our gun shoot we need to instead of pushing it back we wanna kill it we wanna make it disappear and so again that's pretty easy what we'll do is we'll take our bullet and we're gonna add a script to our bullet which is gonna be called destroy and what this is gonna do is it's going to take uh, upon the collision whatever game object with a tag of finish it will destroy so if it comes into contact with a game object that has the tag of finish it's going to destroy it and so to set that up right now it's not going to work to set that up we have to give our object a tag. You see up here, here's some preset tags. And I had finish written down. You can make it whatever you want. But I'm just using one of the preset ones. And so now when I fire at it, boom, it just disappears. And what you could do is you could combine this tutorial with one that another student has done and add an explosion into it so maybe you know when the bullet hits the object it explodes instead of just disappearing it would look a lot cooler and so that that wraps this tutorial up you can find all the scripts below the video have a good night guys